Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about cuts, cutting EVA foam. Uh, it's just going to be basic cutting. It's not going to be anything too involved. Uh, the last video we went over a couple of basic tools that I use to cut this foam. Uh, today we're going to actually put that to use and we're going to get into how I'm doing it. So without any further ado, let's move this in for a closer look. All right, so the first cut we're going to talk about is a straight cut. Uh, believe it or not, I do struggle with straight cuts sometimes. Sometimes things just don't go the way you want them to, uh, but you just keep working at it, and uh, eventually you'll, you'll get it. So, uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our straight edge. We're going to use our straight edge as our guide so we get a nice straight cut. We're going to take our nice sharp blades. Remember in the last video I talked about the importance of having a sharpener? Uh, every uh, about six cuts, I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to sharpen it. Because let's be honest, the sharper the blade is, the cleaner your cut's going to be, the less time you're going to waste, and the better your project's going to look. Because that's what everybody's really trying to look for here, is uh, the cleanest cut and, it, and the best looking project they can possibly get. So, you just take your, your blade, run it along your sharper a couple times. That one's good. That one's good. And that's it. Then we can actually get into cutting. I like to use this blade for my bevel cuts, which we'll talk about bevel cuts here in a minute. <clears throat> and this one usually is, is my basic cuts. So this is what I'm gonna be using to start with. So you'll just take your straight edge. You're gonna get it lined up to whatever angle you want it at. If you got a line drawn, go off that. If not, you're just gonna hold it on there. Hold that nice and tight. You're gonna take your, uh, your blade. Make sure that's nice and straight, 90 degrees. On your straight edge, hold that up nice and tight. Don't be loose. If you don't, if you get loose, you're gonna wobble your cut, and it's gonna be jagged. It's not gonna be nice and straight. So just take it, hold it up nice and tight, and just draw your blade right through it. Now, hopefully, I get this one cut. Let's see what happens here. One cut, perfect. Now, as you can see, nice clean cut. No jagged edges on that. Um, sometimes, though. <clears throat> When you're cutting this thing, you might not hold this blade in the same angle. You might not get it through on the first time. So make sure every time you're cutting this, you always have your blade at the same angle. Because if not, you're going to get something that's going to look like this. Now let's just say only if I did two cuts on it. But as you can see on this thing here, I got this little extra flat of material on here from my miscut because I wasn't holding it at the same angle. So make sure every time you're doing it, you're holding it at the same angle. Uh, you know, ger generally you can usually clean this up with uh, a Dremel. Um, but, you know, if this is a really tight-fitting piece, you don't want to clean it up because that's material you're losing. So try and keep that blade as straight as you can when you're doing those cuts. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for straight cuts. I'll also <clears throat> take this blade sometimes here. And I'll just be able to draw this right along. This is actually pretty nice for doing uh, smaller pieces, but for longer cuts, usually I'm going to be using my, my uh, utility knife. It's just a little bit easier. Uh, but that's it for uh, straight cuts. Next cut, we're going to be talking about a bevel cut. So a bevel cut <coughs> is what we're going to be using if we want to join two pieces together, but we want a certain angle on it. So I got these two pieces that already have the bevels on them. Uh, a bevel is just basically uh, angle piece. This was at one point a 90 degree angle. I put a bevel in there for you so you could see it. And a bevel is just, it's an angle cut, really is all it is. And you can do this at whatever angle you want. Just remember that the angle you do it is going to decide your angle of your finished product. So, you know, this was a different angle cut here. This is a different one here. These are actually undercuts. I'm going to get into that later on. But just kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So once you, you do your bevel cut, you can join your two pieces together, kind of like that. And then that would be a 90 degree angle, nice clean edge. You can see that there is a, a cut in this when you glue them together. You can usually just run your Dremel along it and clean it up and you won't see that anymore. But uh, that's, a, that's a bevel cut and you can do it at all kinds of different angles. So it's a pretty good one. I use it quite often. But the, the uh, type of cut I'm going to use for the most part is going to be an undercut. Undercut is really great because when you do it, you can see on Jazz here, you get this really cool looking angle, but you don't have any kind of uh, cuts going through it. You don't see any lines going through it. 
and it just looks really smooth and it just looks like uh, just kind of natural so it doesn't look you know jagged you don't see any kind of gaps you don't see any kind of uh, sand marks on it or anything like that because it's just it's a clean clean cut <clears throat> so the way I'm doing it I don't know if you guys can see it Let's see if I get some light over here but I'm just taking this cut and I'm going about three quarters of the way through it and I'm just making a little groove on the back side of my foam is really all that's going on so when I take this and I, I got this cut out of there I can take my uh, contact cement or my hot glue whichever one you want to use for the most part I'm, I'm using uh, contact cement it has a really nice hold and uh, it looks really clean when you're done so that's what I'm using most of the time but you would take it in there and put it in there and uh, let it dry five to ten minutes once it's dry you can go ahead squeeze those pieces together and then you would have a pretty cool clean looking piece with these uh, these cool looking angles you know whatever you you need for it uh, but you don't see any kind of cuts on this side it has a nice little rounded edge on it and it just looks really clean um, I think uh, you know once you guys start using this you're gonna really like it and uh, give your project a really clean looking angled piece so uh, practice with your uh, scrap pieces on that because you will have to you will have to do some practice on it because you know it took me a while to figure out how far I had to go down to cut that to make it give the angle I wanted without going through it uh, but the way I do that so I'm gonna take my straight edge line it up to the angle I want take my pen just make a mark now I'm gonna use this mark as my reference point for my cut so I'm gonna take my blade now I'm going to do this. I want about a 45 degree angle on this piece, let's say. So I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch to the side of that line I made, my refer reference point. I'm going to angle my blade in back to my reference point, and I'm going to just draw my blade through it and cut about three quarters of the way through it. Just try not to go all the way through. Turn my piece around, repeat on the other side. Then luck, this should pop right out of here. Perfect. Piece comes right out, <clears throat> and now I got my 45 degree piece when I glued those together, just like that. Got a nice little angle here. Here it looks clean, uh, no lines. Pretty, uh, pretty smooth. Pretty easy to do. Uh, just practice. Practice is key. Eventually you'll get it, and every time you do it, it'll be a perfect angle. But that's an undercut. Uh, Really, the last thing I'm talking about to me, that's the basics of the cuts. Uh, just cleaning up your cuts. So, so let's say you got this piece here. Let's just say you cut it, and it just looks really bad. Just having a bad day, you're really shaky, too many cups of coffee, whatever it is. But <clears throat> I'm sure you can see that. Everybody knows this, this kind of cut. Everybody's had a cut that just looks really bad like that. All you need to do is just take your Dremel, just clean that up a little bit, and you won't even... When you put these pieces together, you won't even see that or anything like that. But, uh, you know, one of the biggest things people ask me is, you know, how do you get your cut so clean? How your angles look so good? Um, and really, it's just it's just a sharp blade. Um, and just taking the time to clean the cuts up if they look bad. Uh, and a lot of times, too, after I cut pieces and glue them together, <clears throat> just take your Dremel and go along that edge. And just clean that edge up a little bit. And uh, you, you'd be surprised what a difference that makes just running the Dremel along real quick. And it actually kind of gives it... You know, just a almost like a natural type look to it, but uh, that's really all for cuts. Um, and really, just keep practicing at it, and uh, just always make sure you got a sharp blade, and your uh, your cuts will always look good, clean. It'll save you a lot of time, and it's going to save you a lot of headache. And uh, the best part about it is going to save you material. You're not going to be wasting it. So uh, that's all I got for uh, cuts today. All right, so uh, I think for the next video we're going to talk about is uh, some more like detail work, maybe putting pieces together, uh, just a couple techniques I use for uh, gluing stuff together or getting some actual uh, little detail work in it, like you can see maybe a jazz right there. Uh, but, you know, as usual, you guys can always check out my current projects on Instagram at bmbits. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I also just want to point out that beer is almost half full, so it was uh, a decent day for making videos. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.